Official T-Mobile and Sprint have agreed to merge after years of negotiations. The cell companies say it will help them better serve customers with lower prices. But we wanted to know what it will really mean for everyone, including Verizon and AT&T customers as well. Here at the Sprint store in Norwood, customers were curious and a bit nervous about Sprint's plan to merge with T-Mobile. Definitely see how the bill's effective. If it goes up any higher, then it'll be an issue, but if it stays the same, I'll be, I'll be pleased. Jeremy Cott uses Sprint because it's more affordable for him than Verizon or AT&T. T-Mobile customer Anshu Sharma, meantime, loves T-Mobile's weekly deals and hopes those won't go away. I like T-Mobile, and um, I like the T-Mobile Tuesday thing, where they have, like, goodies. Sprint and T-Mobile have been battling for budget-conscious customers for years, offering discount family plans, unlimited plans when AT&T and Verizon didn't offer them. So now the question is, what happens with those discount plans? The companies won't say what they will change, but WCPO.com business reporter Dan Monk worries that less competition could mean higher prices, as with the case at Cincinnati's airport before Allegiant Frontier and Southwest came along. When Delta was the dominant carrier, airline fares were high. Now that there's more competition, airline fares are lower. And so generally speaking, the more competition, uh, the, lo the more likely it is for prices to go down and services to improve. The combined company after Justice Department approval would take on T-Mobile's name. Before that, though, they plan to merge their networks, which Mike Willis says should really improve call quality. In northern Kentucky, where I live, um, and, and the call quality is just not really there for me. Now the merger still needs government approval, but experts say don't expect any major huddles.